What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna talk all about income streams. That's right, I'm breaking down the evolution of my income streams that started ever since I left the nine to five, was a entrepreneur struggling, and then once I became a digital nomad, and then from digital nomad to solopreneur, and then from solopreneur to a business owner of a multi six figure company, and now a new mompreneur. That's right, it's been a crazy journey over the last four years, and I hope this video could be valuable for you on your journey to creating multiple income streams. Now, if we've learned anything from the great 2020 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, which is caused a surge in gas prices and also the recession that's happening right now in our economy, we know now that relying on just one income stream could be very dangerous. So if you're excited to learn and gain insight from today's video, go ahead and smash that like button and comment below multiple income streams and commit to building one income stream after another. All right, so to hit things off, we're gonna first talk about Google AdSense, which is the first income stream that I wanted to mention today that I actually started having fairly quickly in my entrepreneurial career because I started this YouTube channel back in 2018, in April of 2018 to be exact. And back when I started, I remember going really hard, which means that I filmed every single day. So I took my webcam and um, took my iPhone 6 at the time, I believe it was, and I just started filming, right? And I started uploading to this YouTube channel every single day between 60 to 90 days. And that really got the algorithm going because one of the main features of, or one of the main things that the YouTube algorithm really loves is posting frequency. And the more you post, the faster you're gonna get views and gain subscribers and all that stuff. So. I remember I started in April 2018 and I qualified for Google AdSense, meaning I got 4,000 uh, watch hours and 1,000 subscribers on this channel by June 2018. And by July 2018, I received my first Google AdSense check, which I was super pleased because it was over $1,000. I remember when I got the Google AdSense code in the mail to verify my uh, Google Ads account, I then received a check. Well, you don't really receive a check. They deposit it and give you a direct deposit to your bank account once you verify the Google account. So I remember looking at my Google AdSense paycheck into my bank and it was like just over $1,000 and I was like, whoa. Holy f I did not expect that much money. I expected maybe $300 at most. And so since then on this channel, it's gone from that amount all the way up. There's been months where I've gotten paid $11,000 in Google AdSense, $12,000 in Google AdSense, which has been really amazing. And as a matter of fact, in the year 2021, this channel crossed six figures in Google AdSense revenue, which is pretty cool, but it's kind of like a dopamine hit and you can't really rely on Google AdSense because it just goes up and down. I mean, when your Google AdSense goes up, it's like a dopamine hit. You're like, ah, I want more, I want more. Um, and it's such a great feeling. But then when all those statistics go down and everything's in the red, it's like you feel like a horrible content creator and you're like, oh, the YouTube algorithm hates me, I'm not a good creator. And it's just all these mindset things that eat at your brain and you're like, ah, I want my AdSense to be higher. I want my you know, subscribers and views to be higher. So. I guess all that to say that Google AdSense is an amazing recurring revenue, but it's not consistent and it should not be relied on as a primary source of income because it has history and algorithms and social media platforms have proven it's not stable. I mean, you and I are not the owners of YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, none of these social media platforms. So therefore they have the control over social media and they can decide, oh, one day um, you're making a lot of money in Google AdSense and it's the best feeling in the world. And then the next month, it looks completely different. So all that to say, if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and earning Google AdSense, that's amazing. I think you should because there's a lot of things you can do with this AdSense revenue. It should be revenue like icing on the cake, right? And as a matter of fact, if you're interested in learning how to build and create a six figure YouTube channel and become a YouTube entrepreneur, go ahead and download my subscribers to sales blueprint. It'll be right here in this link or the first link in the description. And it'll walk you through the six steps on what you need to create a super successful channel that grows and also that sells. All right, so the next income stream that we're talking about today is affiliate marketing. Now, with affiliate marketing, it's kind of like not just one single income stream because there's several affiliate products that I promote. So it's kind of like multiple affiliate income streams into this one category of income stream, if that makes sense. Um, so I've, I've done several videos talking about my favorite affiliate products to promote and which ones have been the most profitable for me. I can leave a link to one of those videos in the description below. But the point I wanna make here is that whether you are just getting started in business, whether you are a seasoned 
business owner, whether no matter what phase you're at in your entrepreneurial journey, I highly recommend incorporating affiliate marketing into the mix because it's really easy, free money that you could be earning just from recommending products that you were probably going to recommend anyway. I mean, how many times can you think of where you recommend a good product or a good movie or a good supplement or whatever it is to a friend like, hey, I love this blah, blah, blah. So, you know, as I mentioned in the beginning, I'm a new mom. And so right now I'm into the world of newborn baby products, of nursing products, diapers changing. Like it's crazy. All these new products that I never imagined I would need. It's like, what am I doing to find the best products? I'm asking my friends, my mom friends like, hey, what do you suggest for, um, breast milk storage bag what do you suggest for the best baby monitor like all these things that i never thought i would have been asking hey i'm asking now and guess what they could be sending me their affiliate links on amazon to all these different products and so maybe that looks like an extra 100 to 200 dollars per month um, in affiliate commissions and that's a great start i mean 100 to 200 extra bucks per month could turn into an extra 500 to 700. And then eventually, however big you want to scale, you can really make a six figure income with affiliate marketing alone. And I highly recommend with just starting with one product and getting your first sale, because after you get your first affiliate sale, it's kind of like, oh, I can do this. And then you want to promote more and more and more. And then your income for affiliate marketing will just go up. I personally love promoting products that have uh, a recurring income stream. So products that require a subscription or a membership that I could promote because then that's really cool because not only do you make that first sale, but month after month you're receiving recurring commissions from whatever it is you're promoting. So the effort to get those affiliate sales really goes a lot further as opposed to just promoting a product with a one-time payment. And speaking of that, I do recommend promoting products that offer, you know, at least in the 30 to 50% commission range. That's a healthy commission range to be in between. Um, if not, if you're promoting something that only pays out 5%, 10%, it's not really worth your time. I mean, if you make the sale amazing, but where you're really going to get your biggest bang for your buck is within that 30 to 50% or higher range. All right. So the next income stream is my membership training program called subscribers to sales. Now this program is dedicated to those who want to learn how to build a very successful online business by leveraging the YouTube platform, the platform you are watching right now. So this income stream has historically been one of the highest, as a matter of fact, the highest month in our company was around $45,000. And that month is when we relaunched our program and got an enrollment of, I can't remember how many students, but it was a really fun and exciting month to see new faces into the program. But basically this is the income stream that I really am passionate about. I love high impact, high income business models, which this one is because basically it is a membership, which is a curriculum so it's a course and also a community combined into one where the students get mentorship from me and also my team and YouTube coaches so it's a win-win right and we help guide you step by step through the process of building a YouTube channel whether you're a beginner and have no channel have no you know equipment to get started or whether you are a YouTube creator and just want to take your channel to the next level this program is geared like towards those people. And so this program has evolved over time. It started out as a digital course where there wasn't as much support being offered, but then I noticed that, especially with YouTube, it's harder for students to do stuff on their own because YouTube is one of those things where you need support along the way. And so that's why I decided to change it to a membership format so that we could offer more support to the students and also help them along their journey. And so that was the motivation behind the membership model because some people like either have a course or a membership. And so mine, I consider like a hybrid of both because it contains both the community and the course curriculum in one. And if you are by chance interested in learning about subscribers to sales, go ahead and check out my free masterclass and I'll leave the link in the description. And in this free training, we'll go over everything you need to know about a high converting YouTube channel. And also you can learn more information about the program. Okay. So the next income stream we're talking about is a digital course. So you might be thinking, what the heck is the difference? You just talked about a membership and your hybrid training program. And so the main difference between my digital course and the membership is that the digital course is completely hands off and passive because it is a lower price point. It is what I consider a pocket program or a tiny offer or a mini course or whatever. The price point is $47 and it's consumable in less than an hour actually. And so it's a mini course designed to help the people that buy it just get a quick win and not to offer something completely transformational like my main 
higher ticket product. And so this course sells for a one-time price at the $47 price point. And so if people want to take action and they want a little bit more than our free resources, but they can't quite you know, pay for the higher ticket program yet, then this program or this digital mini course is perfect because it's something that's affordable and also something that they can implement and get clarity on right away. And so I love pocket programs. There's so many different, con not controversy, but different opinions out there on whether you should have a tiny offer product or a pocket program. I'm all for it because if you can make the sale on and get revenue on a smaller ticket item product, as opposed to not making any revenue, of course you'd rather make a sale on a smaller ticket item than no revenue at all. Okay, so the next income stream we're talking about is sponsorships. Now sponsorships, it's a little bit different to me than brand deals. I mean, sponsorships and brand deals are used interchangeably, but with sponsorships, it's a little bit different, um, at least how, as far as how I've structured it in my business. So there has been, there have been companies who have sponsored for example my membership or my training program and i've paid me to incorporate their product and service into my product basically so um, what happens is i teach and use their tool within my product and program and they paid me an upfront fee to sponsor my program if that makes sense and so specifically within our subscribers to sales program what we did was we had an online business tool basically sponsor our course and what i did was i took that tool learned it and I think it's an amazing tool for our students to use as an all-in-one business tool with sales funnels email marketing for building out memberships and courses and I teach that tool within our subscribers to sales program and so it's a win-win for both our team and also the company because by me teaching the tool to my students it's basically a higher retention rate for them and it's a better sell for them to purchase that product and this tool from me because I'm basically nurturing the students and teaching them how to use this tool. So they're more than likely to stick with the tool and actually use it as opposed to like being confused and not wanting to take action and use this tool at all. So that to me is like a true sponsorship and collaboration as opposed to a brand deal. And so for sponsorships, I've gotten paid anywhere between $5,000 to $15,000 to do this type of deal. And this is something you can incorporate into your income streams as your business and your brand and audience grows. Then you have more negotiating power to say, hey, this is what I can offer. And it's a little bit of a twist to like the typical, I'll pay you to promote something on your YouTube channel. And this is a strategy that's not used as much in the industry. Definitely a great way that you can produce a different kind of revenue in your business. Okay, so the next income stream we're talking about is brand deals. So brand deals, um, as I alluded to before, it's when a company pays you as a YouTube creator or some other type of content creator, maybe TikTok, maybe Instagram Reels, to place an ad in your video or your image or whatever it is. So on YouTube, this looks like a company um, buying a YouTube mention from me. So for 60 seconds, I could mention a company and say, oh, shout out to blah, blah, blah for sponsoring this video um, and talk about the product and the benefit and give them a call to action and the link. Or they could buy a dedicated video um, and I can make a dedicated segment, maybe it's seven minutes, eight minutes, 10 minute time range um, for the product, which is pretty typical for a dedicated video and that costs way more. I charge quite a bit more because that takes a lot more of my time. And so this income stream in particular, it ranges from month to month. It could be $0 one month, it could be over $10,000 one month from how much I make from brand deals. It all just depends and, and varies greatly. This income stream is also kind of the hardest working money that I have to make because it's one, you have to learn the product and believe in the product that you are promoting. And two, it takes a little extra creativity and you have to make sure like when you're doing a brand deal product that it's, it's good. You have to make sure that the customer, the client, so the company is satisfied with what you're doing because sometimes they have guidelines, sometimes they have rules that you have to follow. A lot of times when you uh, give them the draft video, they'll want an edit like, oh, can you please fix this part? and add blah, 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 or change this and that. And for this reason, it's, I kind of nowadays stay away from brand deals because it's very demanding on the creator. And to be honest, it takes away from the traffic. Like if you are leveraging YouTube as a business for whatever you have going on for your online business, for your products and services, this evergreen video is now going to be dedicated to them. 
not to you. So this is why I charge so much. It's because this traffic is going to their link and their product forever, which means it's not going to our business. It's not collecting leads for us. And so from a business standpoint, it could be a loss for the company. And this is why I'm so adamant about my pricing. And this is one thing companies don't realize. They just think, oh, pay a creator, you know, whatever amount to post on their channel, but they don't realize that several YouTube entrepreneurs nowadays are running businesses from their YouTube channels. And this is why it's really important to um, charge what you're worth. Okay, so the next income stream we're talking about is one-on-one -on -one coaching. This is something that I don't regularly offer, but when it's the right situation, meaning it's a biz another business owner, another YouTuber that needs my help and they're able to afford and pay for my one-on-one -on -one pricing package, then I'll consider it because I'm not going to help somebody who's brand new, who's just getting started because there's nothing for me to help them with and there's nothing to analyze, quite frankly. And so typically I only offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. Well, I really don't offer it. If anyone asks and helps me, I typically only work with people who are already creating results in their business and who are already posting consistently on their YouTube channel and actually have some skin in the game actually have some analytics. And so if people reach out to me privately and ask and have the investment to do it, that's when I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. But typically it's something that you won't see me offer on my website or something that I promote and sell regularly. Now the next income stream is speaking. Yes, I have been a speaker at events, not a live event yet, but hopefully within the next year, I'll be able to speak live on stage but I've been paid to speak at virtual events. And I think this income stream is really fun and exciting. And if you're looking to get into the speaking world, I would just definitely offer to speak for free at whatever event you see coming up. If you see you can offer value, definitely email the event organizer or event planner and say, hey, I'm interested in speaking. Um, you know, I'll do it for free. I'll, I'll pay my own way if it's an, a live event. And that's the way you can get your foot in the door for becoming a speaker and eventually getting paid to speak. All right, so the next income stream is royalties. So what are royalties? It's when you produce a song, an asset, a logo, um, in my case, a course, and it's hosted on another platform. And since you are the creator of this piece of content or artwork or music or whatever it is, you get royalties and get paid in commissions every single time somebody purchases this digital product. Or in my case, I have a course that I host on another platform and everybody pays a monthly fee to be a part of this platform. And the teachers on this platform get a kickback of commission for the watch time and watch minutes that people are watching my class on this platform. So it's really cool. Once you create the course or the, you know, whatever it is, the animation, the digital asset, and you upload it on another platform, this becomes very much so passive income and you earn royalties on whatever it is you already produced one time. Okay, and as a bonus to this video, I just wanted to talk about some of the things I'll be focusing on for increasing personal income, I guess you could say assets, and growing my and my family's net worth, and that's all about investing. And this is because if you didn't know already that your working income or the income that you are receiving from your job, from the income that you are receiving from your business, it is the highest taxed form of income that there is, at least in the United States, especially back when I was a civil engineer. I mean, I made on paper $75,000 per year, but really I was only bringing home like $42,000 because I was single, not married, no kids, um, no, uh, what, like I didn't have any homes. I didn't have any assets to write off. So I was getting taxed like maximum. Um, at least with, when you are owning a business, you have uh, lots of things that you can write off um, when you're doing your taxes, such as your internet, such as your subscription tools, such as your um, team. If you have contractors on your team, you can write off your rent. If your business requires a vehicle, you can write off gas and the mileage. And so there's so many more benefits to having a business when it comes to taxes. But aside from all that, <laughs> you have to also have your money grow for you because the most dangerous place that your money could be is in the bank, especially right now where we're seeing a record inflation of like eight to 9% almost, which is bananas. It hasn't been this high in decades. It's really important that you have your money in, you know, real estate or somewhere, um, stocks, crypto, wherever you are investing your money so that your money can grow for you as opposed to earning no interest at all and letting the banks use your money to make them 
more rich. So the idea is you want to become your own bank. So this year I plan to really hone in on investing in stocks, specifically index funds and also cryptocurrency. I know there's so many different types of things that you can invest in with cryptocurrency. We've all heard of NFTs. We've all heard of the famous coins and blockchains, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Terra Luna. So specifically this year, I am interested in decentralized finance, which I believe from the research I've done is the least risky way to invest in crypto right now. And so that's why I'm super interested in it and we'll be we'll be learning it very heavily for the rest of this year and putting some dollars to invest and start to build up and diversify that portfolio. All right, if you made it to this point in the video, congratulations. I'm so honored that you made it to the end. Why don't we continue the fun and learning and growing together? Check out this video coming up next. It's a really good one all about how you can go from zero if you have no money or nothing to start to creating $1,000 per month, $1,000 per day. Go ahead and click right here. I will see you on this video. Imagine making over $48,000, nearly $50,000 from only 10 hours of work. In today's video, I'm going to show you how that's realistically possible 